Hello everyone, welcome to BSP Solutions and this is a continuation of the previous um, video we have that tips and tricks for the FCCS. So let's start. Okay, so the topics will be like, uh, we will see how we can set up the cash flow and uh, in the moment dimension, we will discuss that and further we have made a data and we will discuss for the data source and in the company. Then we have a decimal precision that uh, how we can set up the precision for the decimal. And uh, then we have steps to debug the data issues. So uh, let's see what we have. Okay. So for the cash flow setup, that is the first topic we have. So for any moment member setup under that is a uh, subtitle must be included in the cash flow. And the, the prefix for that is uh, FCCS underscore. And you know that. Uh, the uh, whatever member have the prefix as FCCS. It is the preceding member we have. Okay. And all cash flow align items will have at least one moment member as a descendant. Okay. So moments are added to cash flow line items with the subtraction console operator. You know that for every member we have a sub member and that is a sort of shared member we have. And it will reverse the sign of the amount. Or whatever data we feed in okay and all customer specific children of fccs current asset and sibling of fccs total liability and or fccs total equity must be added to fccs total balance sheet cash and non-cash so you know that we have uh, uh two sort of balance sheets okay and the third one is the basic one so for so these settings we have to make and uh, one more thing we do not disturb the hierarchy it is advisable that uh, we should not disturb any sort of members, okay? But yeah, we can also add members in the hierarchy of the moment dimension. So I have an example for that. Suppose we have uh, account receivable, okay? So you know that uh, account receivable is a asset item, okay? And uh, we know that uh, if we make the cash flow and if there is an increase in asset, our in the cash flow it will show as a negative number okay so if we have changes in account receivable as a positive change so uh, it should come as negative in the cash flow so you know that uh, we have an opening balance in the screen you can see we have opening balance that is um, 11,000 uh, because we are getting some changes in the account receivable so we are getting the closing balance as 12,000 but yeah for the for the purpose of cash flow uh, it is auto reversing the 1000 amount in the cash flow. You can see at the net cash flow from operations, we are getting a negative 1000 figure. But yeah, for the balance sheet, we have a positive number. And then we have a movement changes so like um, when for the uh, for the closing balance, uh, it is advisable that we should not uh, move any of the members that are given in the screen. You can see that. So these members we will get. If multi currency is enabled, you can see we have FX um, total, FX subtotal, and uh, FX opening also. Okay, and um, CTA and CICTS. These members you will get when you have the multi currency option enabled. And further, it is also like very much recommended that uh, we should not move these accounts also that are under the FCCS total moments. And uh, this under under FCCS subtotal, these members should not move out of the of, out of this parent. Okay. Uh, uh, suppose if I give, give you an example that we have acquisitions total, if the ownership in, is enabled, then we have disposals also. Okay. So these uh, kind of members we have. Okay. Then we have movement changes, and uh, movement cash change and other. So CDN members on system calculation uh, do not move the following. Again, the same thing that we, it is like uh, saying that we, we do not move these members, uh, specifically the opening cash, uh, balance cash. Okay, so when you enable the entire cash flow, so these members you will get and uh, like FX total non-cash. Okay, when the multi-currency is enabled. So these member we should not uh, like tamper. Okay, and we do not, do not move out of the hierarchy. 
So you can see in this uh, small screenshot, we have that uh, under movements, we have total mo movements and we have closing balance variance. And so this hierarchy should not be like disrupted. And further, we have metadata that is uh, data source and intercompany. That is the second topic we have. So data source seed in members uh, system calculation that uh, do not move uh, the following members. That is that is uh, specifically the FCCS underscore intercompany elimination. These are the paid seed in members we have. This member must stay under the FCCS total elimination. And uh, if you want to get the perfect results or the desired results, you should not like move these accounts on the members. Uh, it cannot be shared under any other parent FCCS. So it is also like uh, saying that we, we should not share this particular member uh, to any other parent under the total data source. So we can make a sibling to the total data source and further we can make a shared member, but under the total data source, under any other parent, we should not share this member, a specific member, okay? And for the intercompany dimension, uh, we do not manually move add or delete any member under the CDN member that is uh, top in the company top okay and it is also noted that the data source member cannot be uh, that sorry can be created with member formulas so data source member can have member formulas to convert the end of data at the total data source member into a required presentation then multiple alternative presentation views can be created depending upon uh, like on the requirements of the data entry and of alternative alternative presentation so we can have an alternative view for that also and uh, further we have the decimal precision precision that uh, you know that for every decimal uh, we have a, we have members okay but to what extent we we want to allow the values for the decimals okay so Here's a table for that, that we have a value and we can define the minimum precision as well as the maximum precision uh, for this. So you can define decimal precision under the user preference or specific forms. Uh, precision can be a form specific also, or we can have the substitution variable for that too. Um, suppose the value is 100 and we have minimal precision. Okay, so and the display, displayed value will be 100 and if we provide the precision less than five okay so our displayed value will be like till five okay it will not extend uh, it may extend if we set any maximum precision but yeah for the displayed value we will get the same and then we have various other example you can refer the table okay so we can limit the minimum and maximum sort of precision in this fccs tool okay and further, we have the continuation that to counteract the decimal, pres uh, the, uh, decimal precision issues, all the issues we have, like, uh, uh, first of all, we can define uh, the what we have, uh, the user variable. Okay. In the user variable, user preference, use, uh, better say that uh, in the user preference, we have the option to precise. Uh, we can uh, set the precision for the, uh, for all the data we have. Okay. And one more thing, if we want to limit uh, with the help of substitution variable, that we can also do. But for that, we have to provide the cube name. And uh, in the name, we have to write decimal precision without any spaces and the values. We can give any sort of value, okay. Currently, in the example, it is showing as six. So, and one more thing, if you are facing any issue, like um, suppose you have the smart view and in the smart view, you are not seeing any sort of decimal decimal places so in the formatting you can go to option in the smart view and then in the formatting you will see that we have a we have various options that uh, we have scaling we have decimal places okay and uh, suppose i make it to three so in the preview you can see that we have one thousand uh, one dot triple zero okay and if i refresh this let's see what figures we are getting okay so you can see we are getting three and uh, in this particular bank checking account, we're getting 0.56, 0. Point, uh, 78.056, okay. So if I change, uh, let's change it more. So this is uh, within the smart view, but we can you can also set it to uh, set in the FCC's application as well. And it is also form spef specific also, you can set for the forms also.
okay so let's move further then we have the last topic we have that steps to debugging data issues like um, if you're facing any data issues then uh, we can run metadata validation so i will show you that so this is a fcc's application we simply go to overview and we have validation of metadata so with this help of validation you can fix any sort of errors you will get the error details and all the things and you can fix it then we have ensure compute rates that um, you can know you know that when we have multi currency and all the we have um, various uh, currencies to enter and uh, if we are not getting correct figures then we should compute the rates okay and we should also ensure that the ownership is set correctly okay and if you have the any sort of flat structure so we we can also check in the legal entity view okay and uh, we should also like uh, like be aware of that we have already overridden of uh, override uh, amounts also okay and we should uh, also check for the consideration methods we have okay according to the organization structure and we also like uh, ensure that the metadata is at correct places suppose you have one cash account and it is in liability side so it is not correct okay so in the similar fashion you can debug many various issues you can read in the screen also in this in the ppt okay so if we move further that we have translation uh, we have consolidation and translation rules that we uh, can also check okay and uh, go to zero level input data to help isolate the cause okay and parent level data can be misleading due to other calculation causes okay but if you are still finding any for the more issues then you can go to like you can see your conflict and consolidation rules or you can go to uh, when you go to open the rules and you you can insert any sort of rules these the rules we have okay we have fcc 10 rule and 20 and other rules so you can disable it and then again enable that rules and um you can good to go and you can have the validation and all the things okay and uh, then we have translation rules also so that uh, rules you should must check so these were the step to debug data issues okay so that's uh, we come to an end and uh, thank you for watching this uh, video and the more videos are coming so stay tuned to bsp solution and if you have any sort of query you can visit you can reach out to us thank you